Shia. Welcome back to the Floyd and Melanie Show. I'm your host, Floyd. And I'm your girl, Mel. And welcome back to another podcast topic. What's going on, Mel? Talk to me. Oh, everything's good. You know, I'm just here just reading these articles about these aliens again. Not God. <laughs> Which part of the alien them they know, Melanie? Talk to me. Now they're appearing in Brazil. <laughs> Hold on. You mean Brazil? Yes. Where the- Ronaldo come from? The original Ronaldo? Yes, Brazil. Oh, Lord. So, Elena, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, I, I think um, they were in this little island off the coast of Brazil, I think is what they said. Um, the island is called Ila do Mel, something like that. Hold on, this Mel? Yes, Mel. Oh, Lord. Ila do Mel. All right, all right. <laughs> and talk to me. What do you say about the island? So, it's like in the, um, the coast off of southeast Brazil. Anyway, according to the article... Some of the locals there said that the that they're not convinced that these things are humans. They said they're too be they're too big to be a person. Yeah, man. So me I said to say that them say some ten foot alien walking down a mountainside. Yes. In Brazil. <laughs> yes. So hold on. First it was Miami, right? <laughs> and two weeks later it's Brazil. Yes. Boy, I mean I tell us we're in a problem in a still enough. But you know the crazy thing about it is. Um, in Miami, you really couldn't, you, you know, you couldn't really see a good video. But honestly, listen, Melanie. Yeah. Right? Them alien, I get brave, no, you know? They are. It's like they're not hiding no more. Them say enough is enough. Exactly. You know what I say? Exactly. But, you know, I watched the video, and it's funny. You have to watch the video because you see these things or whatever just, like, waving their hands. It's really funny. Oh, they must say hello. I have no idea, but it was hilarious. They must say, wagwan people. <laughs> Medea. <laughs> but seriously, Melanie, remember a um, few years back we watched this movie, Stranger Things? Oh, the TV show, yeah. Netflix, just ima- uh-huh. Yeah, man. Just imagine if the world come to that. Yeah. I'm going to hide forever. I'm not come out. <laughs> you know what I say? <laughs> but what I say? How come you never hear some alien there, Jamaica? I'm just waiting. Right? Yeah. I'm, apparently, they're appearing all over. Trust I mean, me, just if, for if, these if, random places. Listen, if alien there, Jamaica... Mm-hmm. Some clot then get the rock or then fly go back <laughs> a space. Same time. Why? What are the Jamaicans going to do? No, ma'am. I don't have to no clot on it. You know me I say? But <laughs> Jamaican, I don't know what I say. You know me I say? <laughs> yeah, man. But no, seriously, man. This world is getting crazy, man. Everywhere you look. Yeah. There's like UFO sightings and, and aliens and all these things, you know? I mean, everything is just so strange how everything's just happening and everything's just appearing all at once. But, yo, know, listen, man, that's why on previous podcasts, you know, mm-hmm. I always say that, listen, preparation is the key for everything. You know what I say? Exactly. So we got to be prepared for war, for ill and invasion, everything. You know what I say? I know. You know, we have to be prepared, like you said, prepared for anything for the future. And, you know, just like putting an alarm on your house just because you never know if. But hold on. What? For the ill and alarm wouldn't work, you know? Because why? remember down in Miami, one guy said that. The aliens were teleporting <laughs> through glass. <laughs> so that means if I set my alarm for the host, or after that, the ADT alarm, I'm going to teleport to the front door. <laughs> well, I mean, is your door made out of glass? I mean, I know about them. I mean, that. I'm sure you have like little parts, you know, like little window parts. But seriously, come on. Listen, listen, man. But people, listen up good, right? This year, 2024, mm-hmm. it is going to be a wild, wild year. I've heard that. So buckle up, people. You know me, I say it's going to be a bumpy ride. Believe me, you know? Yeah. One of his stuck up, right? And please, people, prepare yourself. You know me, I say? Exactly. Stuck up on food and water, like I said many, many times before. Yeah. And listen, some people might laugh, you know? <laughs> but Why? Listen, one of you buy some plywood or plywood <laughs> and screws in, and each window in our house, on the measure each window yeah. to the plywood. You know me, I say? Oh, and, and when just push come, it in. Yes, when yeah. push come to shove. When you can't get the plywood and screw them and screw it in from the inside on the window. Right. You know me, I say, protect yourself from whatever. Anything. You yeah. know me, I say? Because it doesn't necessarily have to be like really bad weather or anything like that. You just never know. Yeah, man, because when things get rough, you know, people are going to go crazy. Yeah. And when they get crazy, they're going to get desperate. Right. And whenever they get desperate, believe me. Exactly. They're going to find a way for broke in your house. You know me, I say, when I'm hungry. You know, we watched that movie, um... A couple of months ago with Marquise and do you remember when they were like trying to um they hammered the some stuff to, like wood to the doors and the windows and stuff yeah, like man. that and these aliens literally they can use whatever to technology um, yeah 
No, they they used something with their finger, their mind, I don't know, and like all those nails just like came off and they came inside anyway. Boy, I mean, I tell you, I tell you, you can't stop the alien still in the say. But listen, man, I remember, I spoke, I spoke about this many times, you know. But when I say prepare, right? I remember 1989, right? Mm-hmm. I was like eight years, eight years old, let me say, right? Yeah. And it was Hurricane Gilbert I was about to hit. Oh, and yeah. people were laughing at my grandfather, right? Because my grandfather went on the rooftop, right? Mm-hmm. And he was tied down the roof. You know what I say? What With some mean? card, like tied on the roof because the roof was like zinc. Okay, okay, So that yes. means when the breeze come through. Right, it doesn't lift at it all. It doesn't lift up. So yeah. people were like laughing, laughing at my grandfather, man. And my grandfather was filling up like big containers filled with water. Yeah. You know me, I say, and he went to the grocery store, man, and buy a pull up of food, crackers, bread, bully beef, tin mackerel, sardines, all of these things. Right, right. But people never understand, or I guess people don't really care, really. You know me, I say? Right. People don't want to listen to the news and be of aware of so. what's going on, you know? Yeah. And when things hit the fan now, them same one, mm-hmm. I come run to you. Exactly. You know me, I say, just like Noah, exactly. right? Yeah. Back in the Bible, when Noah built the ark. Right, right. People didn't laugh at Noah, you know? Exactly, so and he was ark. being prepared. Exactly, so I built an ark on dry land. Right. But God done threw him the vibes and said, Noah, mm-hmm. build the ark and follow instructions, and that's exactly what him do. Right. So people these days, listen, man, just prepare, you know me, I say? See, but the problem is that, you know, people only look at, okay, wow, you know, it's nice and sunny today. Um, now there's no breeze or I don't see any cloud in the sky. And your grandfather, he was just taking heed. He's like, you know what? They said to go ahead and prepare. So worst case scenario, if nothing happens, all I have to do is just remove everything. Exactly. And again, people, I'm not saying to live in fear, you know, right. because fear not come from God. Fear come from the devil. Yeah. You know what I say? But at the same time, we got to be smart. And, you gotta be and please yeah. guys, watch the news and pay attention of what's going on in the world today because it's crazy. Yeah, You know what I say? Because look at the wars that's escalating overseas, right? Yeah. It's all real. It is. It's, you know what I say? And yeah, and anything can happen in any given moment. Right. You know what I say? So again, guys, stay prepared mm-hmm. and stay legally strapped 24-7. You Absolutely. know what I say? And yeah, man, yeah, man, it's a short podcast this morning, you know? I'm your host, Floyd. And I'm your girl, Mel. And thank you guys for listening.